Welcome everybody to a very short video on how to study the Bible. One of the main things when we study the Bible is to make sure that we don't claim our neighbor's mail. One of these mailboxes says Israel and the other says Body of Christ. So you just got a letter, you just got a letter, you just got a letter. I wonder who it's from. Oh, it's from God. To my people in the body of Christ, who will live eternal in the heavens, follow my wor words through the pen of my apostle Paul. So we know that this is to the body of Christ. And then there's another letter from God. To my people, Israel, who will live in the promised land on earth, Obey my words through the pen of Moses, the prophets, David, and the twelve apostles. So that one is to Israel. So when we study the Bible, we should most often take the literal meaning. We should ask who is speaking to who, to whom, and where, what, when, why, and how all these WH questions because what gospel did Jesus preach and who did he preach it to Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom he healed everyone perfectly now after that John was put in prison Jesus came into Galilee preaching the gospel of the kingdom of God and saying the time, which was the time of Daniel's timeline, the four, in the 490 years, is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. It mean, meant that it was very close. Mark 1, 14 and 15. And Jesus went about all Galilee, teaching in their synagogues and preaching the gospel of the kingdom and healing all manner of sickness and disease among the people. Matthew 4, 23. And Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the gospel of the kingdom, and healing every sickness and every disease among the people. Matthew 9:35. This is another thing that Jesus said. He said to Nicodemus, Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. John 3, 5. So he's talking about entering the kingdom of God on earth. And he also told the woman of Canaan, this is what Jesus said, I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So he was sent to the house of Israel in Matthew 15, 24, and not to the Gentiles. Now this is what Peter said. He was one of those who said, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? Acts 1, 6. He's talking about a literal, physical kingdom on the earth and after the Holy Ghost came on Pentecost this is who Peter was speaking to ye men of Judea and all ye that dwell in Jerusalem Acts 2 14 ye men of Israel Acts 2 22 ye men of Israel Acts 3 12 so obviously he's speaking to the men of Israel and not to the Gentiles but who was Paul speaking to? This is what he said. I say then, have they stumbled? Israel stumbled at the cross, that they should fall? God forbid, but rather through their fall, salvation is come unto the Gentiles for to provoke them to jealousy. So Israel did stumble at the cross. Now, if the fall of them be the riches of the world, and the diminishing of them be the riches of the Gentiles, how much more their fullness. So they actually fell at the stoning of Stephen. 
and that's Romans 11 11 and 11 12 for I would not brethren that ye should be ignorant of this mystery lest ye should be wise in your own conceits that blindness in part has happened to Israel until the fullness of the Gentiles be come in Romans eleven twenty five. so there's blindness in part has happened to Israel so the little flock Peter's group did not fall but the uh, nation fell until the fullness of Gentile speak come in until the rapture happens then he'll restart his program with Israel and Paul said Christ came into the world to save sinners of whom I am chief Howbeit, for this cause I obtained mercy that in me first Jesus Christ might show forth all long suffering for a pattern to them we should hereafter believe on him to life everlasting. 1 Timothy 15 and 16. So um, Paul was the first sinner, the leading sinner, um, to be saved in me first. Um, Jesus Christ might show forth all long suffering. So he's suffering long with people wanting them to be saved into the body of Christ for a pattern to them that should hereafter believe on him to life everlasting. So Paul is a pattern for those who will believe in this dispensation of grace. So the body of Christ was a secret mystery hidden God Acts, I mean Ephesians 3 9 until Christ revealed it to Paul and Israel's program is only temporarily suspended and it will restart after our rapture um, God will restart it so Israel was supposed to be a kingdom of priests with Jesus Christ as the priest their priest king and uh, King David ruling with them because Jesus said when the Son of Man shall sit on the throne of his glory, ye also shall sit upon the twelve thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. He said that to the twelve apostles in Matthew 19, 28. And Matthias was the last of the twelve. And the twelve apostles will rule over the twelve tribes of Israel. Because um, there was an old covenant, and this is the old covenant. Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed, and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people, for all the earth is mine. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation. These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. Exodus 5, I mean 19, 5 and 6. So if they kept the covenant, then they would be a peculiar treasure and a king of priests. But they broke the covenant when they worshipped the golden calf. So um, the Lord had to come up with something new. Um, but ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and a holy nation. This is what Peter wrote. A peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness and into his marvelous light. 1 Peter 2.9 So God always had a little remnant of believers. So um, he's going to make the nation out of them. And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings, um, of the earth unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood and has made us kings and priests unto God and his father to him be glory and dominion forever and ever amen that's revelation 1 5 and 6 so there even in the revelation they're going to be a kingdom of priests and in Hebrews which is written to the Hebrews and not to the body of Christ he says that um, there, he has now a new covenant with his people. God said the new covenant, which is what he was talking to Nicodemus about, with the house of Israel and the house of Judah, and I will put my laws into their minds and write them on their hearts and, they, and be their God. 
Hebrews 8, 8 through 10. So that's the gist of, of those verses. So God, this is the last part, has um, two groups of people that he's saving. The Bible is laid out, prophecy, mystery, prophecy. Prophecy goes from Genesis to Acts 9. And then mystery is from Romans to Philemon and prophecy, Hebrews to Revelation. Because um, God is saving two groups of people by one cross and his kingdom is made up of both heaven and earth. By one cross, Christ saved two groups of people. And Paul said uh, the mystery of his will. Having made known unto us the mystery of his will, according to his good pleasure, which he has purposed in himself, that in the dispensation of the fullness of times, he might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in him. Ephesians 1, 9 and 10. So God has two groups. Uh, by one cross, God, Christ saved two groups of people. And so, did the body of Christ begin in Acts 2 or Acts 9? It began in Acts 9 with the salvation of Saul of Tarsus on the road to Damascus, the first sinner saved into the body of Christ. And at that time is when God revealed the mystery of the dispensation of grace that he's saving the body of Christ in to live in the heavenly places. I hope this video was a great blessing to you. Thank you and God bless.